Hi everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to make this 3D website intro for Shopify. This works on all Shopify stores. All you need is a few things. First, you're going to want to download Blender. Head over to blender.org. Hit download and download for Windows, Mac OS, or Linux. Next, you're going to want to head over to photopia.com. Or if you have Photoshop, you can use that, but I'm just going to use Photopia for the sake of this tutorial. Next, you're going to want to head over to my Shopify store. Head over to catalog and purchase this Shopify template for Blender. It's a Blender Shopify template. It's a 3D video template. All you need to do is just replace your logo over here. And that's it. You don't need to do any work. All the work is done for you. You can use the code that's going to pop up on the screen right now. The first five only get this for free. You can use the code that's going to pop up on the screen right now. Only the first five that use it get it for free. And if it's done, if the code's done, you can use the code first 50 uh, to get 35% off on the whole site. So yeah, let's get started. Once you have downloaded the 3D Shopify scene, just right click and extract. Then open the blend file and wait for it to load. Once it has loaded, you're just going to go to frame 727, that's 727, and you're going to see your logo over here. This square that says your logo, you're just going to replace it with your own logo. But first, we're going to go to photopia.com. Let's go to photopia.com, open from computer, locate your downloaded Shopify scene folder and open your logo.psd. Here you're going to want to hide this folder and just paste your logo over here. I'm just going to paste any logo. Uh, actually, I don't have a logo on hand, so I'm going to write anything. Let me type something in here. Let me type hi. Change the color to like blue. Make sure it fits in the square so it shows in the template. And just hit Control S. Save changes. Once that has saved, head back to Blender. Scroll all the way up on the Material tab. Hit this unpack item and use file from current directory. Open the file and just double click your logo.psd. If it does not update, you should press on the X and locate your folder again. It should have updated right now. And then you're gonna have to do a very important step. You're gonna go down to the emissions and open your logo again. Again, if it does not update, you should press on the X and open and locate it again. Now it should be emissioning your logo with its own colors. This is what it will look like on this black square. Actually, it won't look like that. This is just the, the preview. You can see the render preview when you click on the render properties. There you go. This is what it will look like. Head over to like frame 900 or something. This is what my logo will look like. That's it. Uh, make sure you also put the emission strength to 30, not 70, like what I'm showing you right now, because 70 is going to be too high. And yeah, that's it. All you're going to want to do now is go to the U layer, or the output layer, sorry, the output properties. Choose an output folder or a directory. 
I'm gonna create this and name it Shopify scene. And accept. And that's it. Control S. And then hit render, render animation. Okay, so once that has completed rendering, you're just gonna open Blender and open File, New and Video Editing. Set the resolution to 3840 by 2160, that's 4K. Set the frame rate to 80, 80 frames per second. Hit Add Image Sequence and locate your JPEG sequence. And hit A and Enter to import all the frames. A is to select all and Enter is to import and accept. Set the frames end to 1160. That's basically it. Just choose an output folder or location. I'm gonna set it to downloads. Hit render, render animation, and then your video is gonna be ready to put on. You're just gonna have a ready video, like an MP4. Okay, now the next step is to head over to your admin Shopify. Go to your online store themes, hit the three dots and hit edit code. Then open the text file that I added to, to the zip file. Double click, hit control A, control C to copy it. Go back to the theme code. Wait for it to load. Make sure you're on the theme.liquid file. Before, right before the body ends, Make sure you paste it there, not after, not uh, not before the HTML, not after the body, not after the HTML, but before the body, before the body ends. Hit Control V. There's just one last thing that you need to do. The head over to your Shopify admin and search files. Hit files. And make sure you've uploaded your video onto Shopify using this upload files button. And select the, the video and the first frame of the rendered uh, uh, images. Here, you're just gonna select the first frame from all of the frames that are rendered with the video. Make sure you've uploaded both of these. So I'm just gonna select the first frame's image uh, URL, head back to the code, uh, just locate the, the third line from the code select your image from URL from Shopify between these brackets and hit control V for the URL that you just copied now the last step is to copy the URL of the video and paste it in the your video URL from Shopify and hit control S And that's basically it. You're going to have your own 3D custom uh, video for your website. Uh, it, it doesn't only work on Shopify. You can also use it on WordPress, but I don't really have the code for it. You can Google it or use ChatGPT to you to get the code. But yeah, that's basically it. If you want any more custom 3D videos or any recommendations on what I should do next, please leave them in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.